away from the I'm in the public. There's nothing wrong with that. Then stay on the public side. I'm a, for, I'm a photojournalist. I can do this. You don't don't need touch to be me, bro. Don't touch computer. me, bro. Oh, close the screen. That's part of your conduct. I know your police conduct. Back up. Sorry, no. Not gonna happen, son. Go about your business. Look, babe. babe. Go about your business. I'm trying to, but you're interfering with that. Turner, what's your badge number? What you want to? We don't have badge I, numbers. What's your identification number? You want to give me a drive? You business. came in. You came and talked to me. Go about your business. Sorry, no, not gonna happen. I can't leave you standing next to the patrol vehicle. Too bad. You're under arrest. Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Lilac City. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today, we're taking a look at the Spokane Valley Police Department located in the state of Washington. Many times, police officers become irate or confused when confronted by First Amendment auditors. But here's the problem. Many times when that happens, what a police officer will do is just place an auditor under arrest. You can't solve a problem by making up a solution. It must be legit. That's exactly what we're about to watch. We're going to see an auditor walk up to a police vehicle. He's in public. He's on a public sidewalk. But yet the police officer states, you cannot stand by my vehicle. He's in public. You can't stop him. So what's the solution to this problem for the police officer? Place him under arrest, make up the charge later. This never stops until everyone comes together and make it stop. I'm not gonna speak too much. Let's check out this video. Hey, oh look, audits on scene. Hey, get out of here. No, sorry. I just want to point this out really quickly. Why did the police officer feel the need to tell the other cop, hey, this guy's filming? Why is it that a man with a camera is more dangerous to them than a man with a gun? Is it because often there's something to hide? Hey, this guy's filming. Hi, buddy. Hey, you guys got your guns out, man. Of course I'm filming. This is for this man's safety. Don't touch me, man. No, I'm not gonna touch you. Every did you see where the other guy went? I ain't answer no questions, man. I'm just out here. I saw this shit going down, and you guys have guns out, and that's why I'm out here. You hear any gunshots? I've heard nothing. I've been here all day. Okay. So I don't know what's going on. All right. I hear something about dogs getting shot. There's only shooting guns around here, so. Oh well. I was asking if you had heard anything, and it might help us. I didn't hear anything. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Why do you have a magazine clip in your pocket? Well, I be shooting busy guys, and we shoot like officers. I don't have no guns on me. I have no guns on. Illegal searches and seizures. Fourth Amendment. Illegal searches and seizures. Let's go. Fourth Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fourth Amendment. Make sure you guys don't give up anything, Fourth Amendment. You guys are coming out hot. Does it shut the oh, I don't have to. Yeah, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, for what? For what? Oh, wait, what? Hold up, what, what is this bullshit you're saying? Hold up, what? I'm right here. What's up? Oh, what's up? Oh, what? What? You have to give me, you have to give me a, you have to give me a lawful order. I am giving you No, just because you wear a badge. Just because you wear a badge. I'm telling you to stay away from the I'm in the public. There's nothing wrong with that. Then stay on the public side. I'm, I'm a photojournalist. I can do this. You don't don't need touch to be me, bro. Don't touch computer. me, bro. Oh, close the screen. That's part of your conduct. I know your police conduct. Back up. Sorry, no. Not gonna happen, son. Go about your business. Look, babe. babe. 
Go about your business. I'm trying to, but you're interfering with that. Turner, what's your badge number? Which one? I don't have Hi. badge numbers. What's your identification number? You want to give me drive? You business. came and you came and talked to me. Your business. Sorry, no, not gonna happen. I can't leave you standing next to the patrol vehicle. Too bad. You're under arrest. So this citizen was charged with obstruction. We clearly see that he did not obstruct anything. He was nowhere near the scene. The police officer was just upset because he was near his vehicle, which is not illegal. But other than the bogus charge of obstruction that most police officers use when they have nothing else to charge you with, I want to take a quick moment to explain the difference between obstruction of a police officer and obstruction of justice. They're two different things. Per the law office of Steve Graham, there are certain offenses that are related to obstruction. For example, the charge of resisting is often charged in conjunction with obstruction, as is assault in the third degree and disorderly conduct. The charge of obstructing a law enforcement officer is often confused with the federal charge of obstruction of justice. However, the federal offense has more to do with interfering with judicial proceedings rather than the day-to-day -day work of a police officer in the field. From the Cornell Law School, Obstruction of Justice, 18 U.S.C. 1503 defines obstruction of justice as an act that corruptly or by threats or force or by any threatening letter or communication influences, obstructs, impedes, endeavors to influence, obstruct, or impede the due administration of justice. Washington State Legislator, Obstructing a Law Enforcement Officer. A person is guilty of obstructing a law enforcement officer if the person willfully hinders, delays, or obstructs any law enforcement officer in the discharge of his or her official powers or duties. So simply put, obstruction of justice is more of a federal charge. Obstructing a law enforcement officer is more of a state charge, which every police officer in each state, when they don't have anything else to lean on, they use this particular charge obstruction of a law enforcement officer. This is the bogus charge in which this auditor was just arrested. Yeah, I'm not in there interfering. Can I, have can I have a supervisor, please? Yeah, can, I have a, can I have a supervisor, please? Yeah. I don't have anything on me. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh no. The link to the full video is down below. Make sure you go and check it out. Also, make sure you subscribe to his channel. So I spoke with Mr. Dean through email, the auditor in this video. He stated that he was thrown in a holding cell for being mouthy, which that's just another thing that police officers do as retaliation. They might throw you in a holding cell because they're so frustrated with the fact that you know your rights. So he was thrown in a holding cell held for 24 hours before being released. He's currently in the process of getting a lawyer. We're going to keep our ears open for the follow-up on this one. But in the meantime, make sure you know your rights. Don't let your rights be violated. Make sure you download my free ebook. The link is down below or click the link above my head. Know your rights. 
Don't be caught without knowing. With that being said, we the People University, signing off. Thank you.